conservation of artifacts from a submerged site is quite unique because of the environment that it's come from. Once an artifact comes up, we need to ensure that it's stable and make sure it goes through the proper processes. If that does not happen, you can have adverse effects that will cause issues down the line and almost probably a loss of the artifact itself. We take the artifacts through a conservation process. And there is a distinction to be made between conservation and restoration. The conservation process is focused primarily on preserving um, what remains. We are not uh, adding anything to the objects that can't be removed. We are not repurposing the object to be able to use it for its original purpose. We're not replacing anything on the object. Um, we are simply trying to remove anything that is obscuring the understanding of the object and preserving what is there. The first thing that we do is actually document and photograph the artifact. Once it is completed with that stage, it moves on to a desalination stage where it is placed in a wet environment so we can get the salts um, removal out um, before going on to putting either protective coatings on it, controlled drying, or bulking agent, which allows to help stabilize the artifact. And once we know that those treatments have been completed, we move on to either placing it in a controlled environment in our curation spaces, or it actually goes out on loan to various institutions. The archaeological artifact collection is very unique. There are thousands of objects in the collection. They span from the earliest days of the Continental Navy from the late 18th century to about the mid 20th century. They can range in size from very small objects, buttons, coins, personal items like that, to very large macro artifacts like entire shipwrecks themselves and large armaments, cannon, things of that nature. The importance of conserving Navy's underwater heritage is to actually provide that history that is not always talked about and bring that to light so we can put it on display. Historical records can provide some of that, but actually having that object in front of you and having an idea of what someone was actually doing during that time and seeing it uh, provides that extra experience for that person who is looking at it. And it gives that other story for people to understand Navy in general.